one thing I've learned is that no matter what facts or evidence you present, whether what you say is the truth or not, if someone doesn't care or is convinced that you're wrong, it doesn't matter what you say. Some people will only believe certain sources. They are determined to not believe you. Someone else could say the same exact thing that you say and the person will be convinced. And there's not much you can do about that. How do you even begin to tell a story like this where do you start sure you start at the beginning but because this is so new and different and unbelievable you the listener have to be prepared for what you're about to learn You have to understand certain fundamentals, certain basic principles in order to understand what is and is not possible. So you can distinguish fact from fantasy. And also to help you overcome doubt and disbelief, which is a major roadblock to getting the help we need to overcome this whole thing. It can be difficult for victims to explain what's happening to them because most of us know nothing about military warfare, military weapons and tactics, Uh, the principles of psychological manipulation um, or even information about IT, information technology uh, related issue, you know. Um, So we depend on what we find online because that's where we turn for answers because we're so desperate to know what's happening with us what's going on and are there others that this is happening to you know we depend on what we find online without really knowing how to filter out and separate the lies from the truth and this is how we can wind up sound sounding crazy to everybody else because we really haven't gotten a grasp on the proper uh, language and the terminology needed to explain these types of things and express them. Um, So when we try to explain it to other people, they just don't get it. You know, now some people may say, well, you know, you don't have any military experience or, you know, how do you understand those things? Well, luckily for me, I spent a number of years, you know, studying, you know, psychological uh, topics, topics dealing with the mind and with influence, uh, dealing with perception, uh, studying neuro-linguistic programming, um, reading a little bit about military warfare, but only in terms of looking at them as classic literature, like you know, The Art of War by Sun Tzu and things like that, you know, um, and also information technology, IT, that's, you know, that was a career uh, for me for a good number of years. So I do have, you know, a good understanding of certain principles when it comes to IT, you know, and how things work. Um, in addition to a lot of other things. So I was lucky in that regard because I knew certain basic things that would help me to gather the proper information. 
Now, there was still a lot I did not know, especially in relation to this. And even with things that I already knew, you know, I was studying them you know, for either business purposes or for my own personal knowledge, never to use them as tools of, you know, counterintelligence or to uh, try to battle an enemy. You know, you don't when you don't really look at it in that perspective or studying for that purpose, then you don't really know how to use them in that manner. So I've had to kind of pivot and start to, you know, learn everything for a different purpose. And this has been going on for, you know, four years, possibly longer. So I've had to spend a lot of time researching, investigating, studying. So the things that I talk about are either from my own experience or through my own investigation um, in order to try to make sense of it for myself and also so that I can try to make it make sense to you, the listener, so that you won't be lost when I'm trying to explain it. And so also so that we can get the proper help that we need in order to get this thing investigated properly. I hope that you'll stick with me and take the time to really listen, to think and to learn. Because as I've said before, this is a complex puzzle and all of the pieces must be examined in order to see the whole picture and see the truth of what's happening. I hope you'll join me and follow along as I work to end this torture for myself and others who may be suffering. Please take a moment to sign the petition at change.org slash will to live. Keep praying and standing up for human rights. I'm Will and I'm out.